it's Valentine's Day today, so what better day to review some leggings than Valentine's Day because lo and behold that they're pink. We are reviewing the legacy category of Gymshark. I ordered these legacy leggings and I've worn them approximately three times now. The very first time I put these on, I actually loved them. Like I thought they were the most comfortable things in the world and they were so comfy and so stretchy and I feel like I was so confident in them. Now I wash them three times like I said and worn them three times and my views changed just a little bit. Like I'm not trying to be bothered by it, but I mean it is what it is. So I've noticed that since I've washed them, they've gotten tighter in the waist and really overall in the whole legging. Um, I don't dry my leggings, I just hang dry them and wash them cold, so I don't know if there's anything I could have done to prevent that, but just to know. So they are pretty tight around the waist. I got a medium, and I typically wear mediums. When I'm working out, they typically sit about here, and it's just something I've dealt with over the course of time. Um, it's just how it is. I got a fupa, and I ain't afraid to show it, and got a little, you know, little fat here and there but it is what it is so they do hug your waist pretty good um, the only other thing I think about the waist is that they're supposed to be like butt scrunchy but I don't really think they are I think they just accentuate them just a little bit you know and then they do have the logo right here on the back yeah kind of sort of you can see it the lighting's not great it is nighttime you move down here and I don't love it when material collects around my knees so these do a pretty good job of not doing that which I like but at times they do slip a little. When I've done, I wore these today for upper body day and when I was sitting you know they kind of accentuate your um, curves that you may not love so much and during leg day I noticed that they would roll down just a little bit like this and I could feel it under my shirt that it, I'd have to adjust it just because it's uncomfortable. And then, let's see here, down at the ankle, so I got these fun socks on today, but they're just like a thin, seamless ankle, and it, I mean, they stay there pretty good. I'm not having to pull them up at all, which is really nice. I would say that these leggings are like 5 out of 10. I don't love them, but the color is fantastic, and they're soft. Um, I just think that they're a little tighter on the waist and probably could have sized up, but when I first put them on, the impression was that they fit really well and I was pretty much in love with them. And since, you know, going through my cycle and all the things, I've just noticed that despite being bloated or whatever, like I don't wear them on those days because I'd feel <laughs> really bad about myself, but otherwise, I mean, I'm not on anything, my cycle right now or anything like that, and they're just pretty tight in the waist. and. I mean, I'd still wear them. I'll probably still wear them to this day, especially for leg day, but they're just not my favorite. Gymshark low-key has let me down a little bit, but maybe in the future they'll be able to pick up my interest again. But So I have the crop top here. I have a little bandeau sports bra, as well as the shorts that I'm going to be reviewing. So if you're interested in any of those pieces and are thinking of trying them out, um, I definitely recommend watching those first. I will take you through all of the main topics we normally cover. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with these shorts. I got these in a medium, which is my normal size, and I really like how they fit. They are definitely a shorter pair of shorts from Gymshark. I don't remember the actual inseam. I'll have to look that up and pop it up here, but they feel like maybe a three, inch, five inch, I'm not really sure. They are definitely shorter though, um, which normally I like my shorts to come down to a little bit longer, maybe just a couple more inches as opposed to this, but these are cute as well if you want a shorter pair of shorts. They do ride up a little bit. I've been wearing these for like five, 10 minutes now and walking around and they are already riding up quite a bit in the back. I've noticed that I am pulling them down fairly often. So they do have this little band to adjust and make it a ruched look on the side, which is really cute. Um, to be honest, I don't think I would ever do this because the shorts are already pretty short on their own and this just makes them more short. But if you want that 
look. That's nice. I haven't seen that in any of Gymshark's uh, shorts before. However, if you don't end up using this and pulling it out, it does have the little band here, as you can see, which is a bit of a weird look, but not too noticeable, just there. Um, at first I thought these had pockets on the side, but sadly they do not. It's just the little ruched band puller that looks like it'd be a pocket and then just kidding, no it's not. <laughs> these shorts are very comfortable and stretchy. They're definitely not a high compression short. They're really pretty thin material, loose, softer material, and just overall really comfortable. Plenty of stretch, but it's still hugging in at the waist. It just fits really well all around. It's not too tight in the legs, which I appreciate. Um, and there's no waist gap, so love that. The fit overall is great. I will be wearing these to the gym later, this whole outfit, to see how it holds up in an actual workout, and I will update here my thoughts on that. We can see if they're squat proof because that is important. I don't think they have a scrunch bum either. No, they don't, but they do have this cute little legacy print on the back and they have this nice like triangular design in the back that's really flattering. So really cute, simple but cute. Okay, I just watched that back and they do look mostly squat proof. I'd say like 90%. I saw a little bit showing through, but not enough to actually bother me or cause me to not want to wear these. So that's great. Also, don't mind our Christmas tree still being up. <laughs> still in the Christmas spirit over here. Okay, so for the shirt, it's very, very cute. It is a short shirt, so it almost hits right where the sports bra hits. It's definitely a short crop top. It fits well overall, like there's enough room everywhere, but it's not too baggy anywhere. It is pretty baggy in the back, but all of Gymshark's crop tops kind of do that. They just shoot out a lot in the back. Um, there is a very kind of hard to see uh, legacy logo on here, which is cute. I kind of like that it's really subtle and doesn't have like Gymshark just in your face and bright colors or anything. I like that it's, you kind of have to look for it, but it has the little, <laughs> Flexing shark on there it says Gym Shark Lifting Club. Really cute. Overall, I love the look of this shirt. It's nice and soft and comfortable. Nothing on the back, just the nice green color. Obviously, the shirt itself is just a little bit more faded looking. Functionality wise, I love Gym Shark's crop tops. I almost always end up working out in one of these crop tees. I just think it's really comfortable. I think it is a little bit more expensive for what you're getting. So I would give this an eight out of 10. Honestly, I don't have any complaints about the crop top itself. I just do think it's a little more expensive than some of their other crop tops. So if I had the choice between them, I would just buy one of the other crop tops because it's cheaper and does the same thing. Okay, on to the sports bra. So this is the Gymshark Legacy Sports Bra in Pebble Gray, which is just a really nice neutral color, but not a true white. Also, I should note the sizing I got in all these. So the sports bra and the crop top I got in a small, which is my normal size for tops, and the shorts I got in a medium, which is my normal size for shorts or leggings. And they all fit really well. So I'd say everything is true to size in this collection. Um, these do come with both removable pads. I have them in right now, but we'll probably end up taking them out at some point. And adjustable straps. The adjustable strap part is in the front and normally it's in the back, which probably doesn't really matter overall. I think I prefer it in the back. I don't really like how it looks up here or like how it's rubbing on my collarbone, but that doesn't really matter, I guess. It's just personal preference. I would rather have it in the back. This has the same little Gymshark Lifting Club logo on here. Really cute and subtle. It has these kind of seams going down. I really like the look of this sports bra. Um, in the back, it is a little bit longer down here and it just has the same general appearance. It is really comfortable. Um, I believe it's light support. Compared to how everything looks 
in real life versus online. I do think the sports bra looked a little bit more sandy colored online as opposed to like, this is a very, very light gray, not really sandy at all. And the shorts, I think they look exactly how I expected from seeing them online and same with the shirt. So the only real difference is slightly in the sports bra, but it's still very cute. I really like the color, so not complaining. So overall ratings for the whole legacy collection, everything I bought anyways. Um, the sports bra, I like it. It's not one of my favorites ever from Gymshark, but it is comfortable, nice color. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10. I like it. It's a little bit pricey in my opinion, but a lot of Gymshark stuff is a little bit pricey. So I feel like you get what you pay for if it is gonna be more quality and it lasts a lot longer then obviously it turns out to be worth it after you wear it however many times. But yeah, eight out of 10, not my favorite, but it's a great sports bra. The crop tee, I think I already rated this, but I'm giving this an eight out of 10 as well. It's really cute. It's just a little bit shorter than I would like and a little bit more expensive than their other crop tops for unknown reasons. And the shorts, the shorts definitely aren't my favorite from Gymshark. I love the color of them. The green is beautiful and the texture and comfort is really great. They're nice and soft and thin, which I like. Um, and they are mostly squat proof, so that's a win as well. But they are too short for my preference and also with the ruched pattern on the side, if you do end up using that, they end up being really, really short. Um, and if you don't use it, you just have that weird little string on the side of your shorts. So I would prefer they not have that, but that's kind of what the collection has. That's like its special feature. So um, in the future, I probably just wouldn't buy shorts from this particular collection. I definitely have other shorts from Gymshark that I like more that have like the same thinness and texture and softness like the Whitney Simmons collection I would definitely choose over these shorts and they're similar in the softness compression level all of that overall what I'm saying I give the shorts a six or seven out of ten they're not bad um, they fit well in the waist and everywhere but they're just not my favorite okay to do a price comparison of all of these pieces so these shorts were forty dollars the crop top was $30 and the sports bra is $38, which in my opinion is a little pricey for a sports bra. It's right around the same price as the shorts. I'm gonna just compare all of these to the Vital Seamless collection because that is one of their most popular collections. The shorts are exactly the same price. Vital Seamless shorts are also $40, so pretty fair for Gymshark. The sports bras, also exact same price, $38 for the Vital Seamless bras. So it's staying really consistent within Gymshark at least. And then crop tops. So here is one of the other crop tees that I have from Gymshark, just the fraction crop top. And it comes in at $26. So this is one of my favorite crop tees ever. I do actually like this one more than the Legacy Crop Tee. It's just a little bit longer and I think it's just a little bit more comfortable. So comparatively, I like this one better, cheaper, and just better fit. This one's very cute too, but just a little bit more pricey and I don't know why, <laughs> or I wouldn't say it's really worth the extra money. That's all I have for you guys today though for this collection. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. But otherwise, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, we also have a whole lot more of them uh, in this playlist. So be sure to check those out if you wanna see more honest, unsponsored fitness brand reviews to see if clothes are worth the hype before actually spending your hard-earned money on them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.